हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद द क्रॉस प्राउज टेस्टिंग इन डब्ल्यू डी आई ओ एंड पैरल एग्जीक्यूशन इन डब्ल्यू डी आई ओ सो हाउ कैन वी डू पैरल टेस्टिंग एंड और यू कैन से द क्रॉस प्राउज टेस्टिंग एंड वट आर द डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म्स सो विल डिस्कस यर सो वट इज पैरल एग्जीक्यूशन पैरल एग्जीक्यूशन इज लाइक it's like you have a test if you have one test test gets five you have one test right and you have to you have to run it on different browsers like using different browsers on same time same time. So this is your cross browser testing. The WDI will support, as in the introduction part, uh, the WDI supports Safari, Microsoft Edge, Chrome, and uh, Microsoft Edge also. So four browsers it supports. So you can how you can parallelly. run your test case on four of these browsers and what are the different platforms different platforms are like on uh, which uh, on which platform you are running your test cases like windows yeah os or ios sorry and linux so what what operating system you are using so that is your different platforms so for this different browser or you can say i mean parallel execution what will you use you don't need to change uh, you don't need to install any code you don't need to install any plugin for this you have to simple simply uh, you have to make some changes in your wdio file that is your configuration file so i'll show you how you can do parallel testing in wdi so you as you can see i have four test cases 1 2 3 4 so in this what we'll do we we'll simply first we we'll, uh, take an example by default it is uh, like i have set it or by default it use chrome so if i test if i test any uh, if i run my test case uh, like uh, x pretty i run dot conf to check and i'll just simply copy clipy path paste it here and enter so you can see only one web browser will open you can see and see only chrome by default it is taking chrome okay and execution of one worker started mind it it has run only one workers so if we go to our configuration file so in this what you have to do simply you have to do like here mention that in capabilities you will see browser name by default chrome right and if i have to use microsoft safari firefox so i'll just uncomment it or i'll remove it i show you how you can set the different browser parallelly i'll copy it and i paste it and here i'll change the name microsoft i'll paste it in so how uh, similarly you can uh, do with safari and microsoft and uh, microsoft edge and uh, then you have to is max instances as the number of you number of browsers will be there the max max instances will be there like two it is totally depend on your computer configuration your laptop your system configuration because it will take uh, very uh, very much memory so 
you have to be careful that how much your system can take load so i am using here two browsers one is chrome second one is microsoft edge so now see how the test cases will be run as i show you before that by default it is taking one browser so execution of one worker started at this and this okay so now if i use same command now you must see that how the system works how the parallel execution works see two workers started one is chrome one is edge so this is how you can run your parallel test cases parallelly execute your test cases similarly you can do with safari you can do with firefox okay so this is this is the simple one that it it don't use any uh, you have to you don't have to use any plugin you don't have to write any code you have to simply just change the some settings in capabilities and set your max instance to 2 if you are using two the, uh, if you are using two browsers you have to set two x instances and you have if you are using three like you have to add firefox here let's take an example like sorry if you are using like if i copy it i paste it here and simply i have to use firefox so what i'll do i just put it here three so it will run on my three different browsers so this is how you can work with different browsers within same time so how you are uh, you can see how the uh, wdi gives you more advantage to run test cases parallelly so thank you guys i hope this video will be informative to you thank you